everybody, welcome to Jake Showcase, a new videos on Wednesdays. I'm Jake Johnson. Okay, so today what we're going to do is we're going to do something I've never done here before, as pretty much usual. I'm going to tell you the, and I'm going to try for the first time ever, the top three Andy, A-N-D-I, foods. So A-N-D-I stands for Aggregate uh, Nutrition Density Index. So aggregate nutrition density index, and what it measures is how many calorie or how many nutrients are in a food per calorie. It was made up by Dr. Joel Fuhrman, and uh, so this is the superfoods of the superfoods. And there's a whole ton of rankings and stuff like that. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to read you the top. I'm going to read you the top going back up, and then I'm going to show you the top three. And for the first time, because I never actually tried these foods before, I'm going to try them here on the camera and see you know what I think of them or see how it goes so this basically goes across all the different nutrients and basically sort of like pound for pound or calorie for nutrient what are the top three superfoods in the world that you can eat and you know what do they what do they like so I'm going to read you some of the real, the, the ones I'm going to move my way up I'm going to go from uh, number 10 up, up up until number three uh, um, so here we go. So the number uh, 10 is going to be carrots with an Andy score of 458. Number 9 is Brussels sprouts with an Andy score of 490. Romaine is score is 510. Arugula score is 604. Spinach score is 707. Bok choy is score 865. The Swiss Shard is a score 895, and these three here are all 1,000. So this is basically the top of the line for superfoods that you can eat, right, right here, right in front of me. I'm going to show you what they are right now. Let's take a look here what they are. Okay, so here's the top three superfoods of superfoods. All right, over here we have kale. This is called kale. All right. And this has got an Andy score, an aggregate nutrient density index score of 1,000. As does this year is called watercress, right? And it's got the same score of 1,000. And this over here is called collard greens. Now, often this is mixed with mustard greens, um, you know, on the score thing. So um, I basically, they, they basically usually say that they're, you know, the same. So I, I picked collard greens, didn't have any mustard greens. So technically carrots is number 11, but for our purposes here, I just wanted to give you an idea of, you know, the nutrient score. So these are way higher. But all of these three are double carrots for how many nutrients you're getting uh, per calorie. And they're very high in lots of different nutrients, but the main ones that they mention a lot is vitamin A, right? Vitamin, uh, uh, vitamin A, uh, vitamin K, and um, vitamin C. So those are the three, and then they all fluctuate beyond that for what they're higher or lower than. Anyway, so we're going to try here. I've never tasted any of these, not not to my knowledge anyway, and I don't know what they taste like, right? But uh, these two here are sort of uh, cabbages, and this here grows on the water. Very, very ancient foods. Kale um, basically was has been eaten long, long time. This here is, I think, the, one of the oldest foods one of the oldest green foods that human beings have eaten. And this here is also the colored greens here. All of these foods have been eaten forever, right? And uh, so here, I've never tasted any of them. I've heard so much about them. And I don't know really even how to, you know, eat them or what you're supposed to do with them. So we're just going to take a piece out here. This here, I think can be brown or green. Okay, so here's a piece of kale. My first ever taste of kale. See here. I don't know how much of each of them I'm going to eat, but just at least taste it. Not, not near as bad as I was expecting. It's actually pretty good. It's not great, but. Okay, that's enough of the kale. I gotta try two more of these things. All 
right, well, that one, it ain't too bad. It doesn't taste terrible. And I just know it's so good for you. So, okay, so let's try this one here, watercress. This one's way littler. It does these grow in the water. So it looks like, I don't know what it is, but, okay, luckily, I brought some water here. So I can kind of get the fresh taste out. Okay, that's enough for Gail. Let's try this one here, watercress. This one doesn't really taste like anything. It's not bad. Not a real strong flavor, that's for sure. Not as strong as this one. So, it's actually, it picks up the flavor. It kind of feels like a little bit of a bite after. But, all right, so watercress, 1,000. And here, this is called collard greens. This one here, also 1,000. Actually, let me rinse my mouth again. Mmm. Okay, this one. This one's got more flavor to it. Kind of hard to eat. favorite this one probably my least favorite and the kale in between the two because this one doesn't taste so bad and you know you're getting the same taste this one tastes okay this one doesn't taste as good but all three of them I've got like tons of like vitamins I probably just took more vitamins than I've had in a while <laughs> just from eating those three things here but these are the three superfoods of superfoods. So I always think it's all, you know, it's it's about your body and you got to try to eat, make healthy choices, right? And so like learning about, you know, your nutri nutrients in your foods is important and trying to eat as good as you can, right? It's a great way to aspire to a healthy lifestyle and life, right? So, so anyway, give it a try. I don't exactly know how you cook it. You're going to have to look it up. You're going to have to look up recipes and stuff like that because, uh, like I say, it's the first time I've ever bought these things and tried these things. But I wanted to try it with you, my fans, together, right, and encourage you to uh, eat, some, uh, eat, some, eat some good food, some green foods, and uh, hopefully that will make your day a little bit brighter. All right? I hope you all like that. Don't forget to like the video below and subscribe to the channel up above. I do my video on Wednesday, and I hope that you have a wonderful day or night. Bye.